Lego's UCS Jabba's Sail Barge was just revealed, so let's go back and rank every Lego Jabba's Sail Barge from the worst to the best. In last is the 2013 Jabba's Sail Barge. This set included 850 pieces, had 6 minifigures, and cost $120, but that is deceiving. Now, even at face value, I think this set looks way too expensive at $120, but we have to factor in inflation. So in today's money, $120 is $165. So they really sold this set for $165, and man, how the LEGO community would outcry if it was sold like that today. This set is just way too overpriced. And I'm going to be honest, the overpricing of it fully brings it down. Maybe a little bit some other categories that we'll talk about in a second, but the pricing is the main thing that took it from the two spot to the three because it's just too dang expensive. Now today, if you wanted to buy it, it's $365-ish on the aftermarket, but of course, we can't really you know, rank things on that. But $165 for this is just way too much. You have six minifigures. All of them are great and are amazing to today's standards, except for maybe R2-D2, but Jabba and Slave Leia are two of the big standouts here, some of the best that we've ever seen from those two characters, and a lot of people's opinions, the best. As for the sail barge itself, the sail barge itself is the best play scale sail barge we've ever gotten. It looks beautiful. The interior is good enough. Obviously, we're working at this small scale. This is as good as they could do with the interior. But the outside looks really good. The front of it looks really good. And again, it's as good as they could do at this scale. So it looks good. But for $165, this set was way too overpriced. And so I, it is last on this list for that pricing. At number two is the 2006 Jabba Sail Barge. This set came out with 781 pieces, cost $75. But of course, we have to count for inflation. So $75 in 2006 money is about $120 in today's money. So looking at this set, I still think it's a little overpriced. So you have to factor in that it does come with the Skiff and the um, Sarlacc Pit, which the other two sets do not. So that is a plus. And because of the Skiff and the Sarlacc Pit, I think $120 isn't awful for this set. But I still think $100 would have been more appropriate. But again, because of the Skiff and the Sarlacc Pit, $120 isn't terrible. This set included eight minifigures, which is a great amount for a play scale set. Now, none of these figures really hold up today. For 2006, these were amazing minifigures. Jabba, Slave Leia, Boba Fett being some standouts. I mean, these were just great minifigures for the day. But in modern standards, they look old. They don't look very good. Um, but so I do think it's the weakest on the minifigures because of their quality, not because of the amount. I think it's a perfect amount with a perfect selection of characters. But because of the quality, it is kind of the worst on the minifigure front. But the Sail Barge... For 2006, this is one of the best LEGO sets I have seen. It is perfect. Like, it looks really good. Maybe the colors aren't quite as vibrant as the 2013 version, but for a playscale set, this was so good in 2006 and really an awesome set. And so this is the best playscale version, in my opinion. I absolutely love this set. Thank you guys so much for making it this far into the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you're enjoying, and let's get into number one. But at number one, we have the brand new UCS Jabba Sail Barge, and man, do I love this set more than I thought it would. When they announced this, I was kind of excited, and then when we saw the $500 price tag, I was not excited and did not think I'd be buying this, but this is a beautiful set and one of the best UCS sets that I have ever seen. I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing. It includes 3,942 pieces, which for $500 is about what you want. Maybe a little bit, not enough, but about what you want. The set includes 11 minifigures, which is great for this scale, with a ton of new figures and some returning ones like Slave Leia and Jabba that we haven't had since 2013, so it's great to get those characters back. And overall, this thing just looks beautiful. The front is just perfectly curved, which is something they could never get right because of the scaling issue of the play scale set so that looks absolutely beautiful the interior is by far the most fleshed out of the three sets the only one that truly has a good interior and there's just lots more details and things and honestly this is just a great set one of the best lego sets ever made and so it easily comes in today at number one all right thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below which sale barge is your favorite and with that being said thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys in our first one.